Good morning. I'm actually doing my advent calendars first thing this morning, so let's get going. It's day four. It's a blue one. On to needle and thread. Day four. That's lovely. Got more pinky purple than yesterday's, but very nice. It's really soft as well. Nora George yarns. Made number four. There. Oh, isn't that lovely? I love that. It actually goes very nicely with this. They complement each other. And that one is called... I've got my little menu. Good natured Yorkshire Martha. Okay. Dalton Border Leicesters. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like a pumpkin y kind of colour. I don't think I mentioned this before, but um, Ellie, who owns the flock Dalton Border Leicesters, um, it's a she she calls it vegetarian yarn because she breeds the flock. They're a rare breed of sheep, so if she wasn't doing that, it's a, it's a conservation flock in a way, and she doesn't slaughter any of them. So like they're literally just her pets, um, and it's run as a charity. So any money that you spend with her goes to looking after the sheepies which I love um, and if you haven't seen a Dalton one of the Dalton Border Leicesters they're just Border Leicesters Dalton is the name of the flock but Border Leicesters are so cute they've got like bunny ears that just point straight up and they've got these lovely regal noses so I'll try and put a picture in because I've got quite a few um, otherwise, just Google Border Leicesters because they're just so fun. Okay, where was I? Jameson's. Ah. Oh. Right. I need to fill that in. I haven't filled it in. There we go. That's lovely. This is called Palma, and I suppose, I don't know if it's my eyes, but I suppose it's meant to be a sort of violety colour, but to me that's like a blue. I mean, it's nice anyway. And I also forgot to say, that this year, Jameson's, this is their first advent calendar they've ever done. And when they did it, they had, um, you could order, I think there was four different colourways. And they were all inspired by different photos from around Shetland. Um, and the one that I went for was the Peary Dancers, which is what they, this the name in Shetland for the Northern Lights. So the image that I picked was a dark night sky but it had like purple and green in it from the aurora borealis so that's the that's the way that this color scheme is meant to be going for the cow pattern so it will be like blues purples dark colors that's why all the colors have been quite dark so far okay tea now 
Yes, perfect. Number four, please be something fun. Oh, that sounds amazing. Pumping pony, pomegranate. The essence of the Grand Bazaar, Istanbul. A sweet, tangy and mystical, mystical flavour. This tea will take you on a flavour journey with its many surprises. One sachet per cup. Three to five minutes. Enjoy. Perfect on its own. I love fruit tisans, so that's going to be very nice later on. Okay, I will try and take some footage and pictures throughout the day. Obviously I'm working, but I, we are going on a little jolly after work, so um, wrap up warm because it's chilly outside. <laughs>
everyone. I'm finally back from my top secret mission um, and I'm just going to do a quick thing because this came in the post today and I've been waiting for it for literally months and when I say months I mean pre-pandemic is what, what I mean. Okay so some of you might have received one of these as well and if so this may jog your memories. It's a lovely little thank you card. Why won't that focus? There we go. From Susan Crawford Vintage. So, if you're familiar with Susan's work, one of her most recent works was the Vintage Shetland Project, where she worked with the Shetland Museum and Archives to inspect vintage or... Uh, collection items from the museum um, and then translate the patterns because obviously the patterns don't exist anymore translate the patterns into something resembling the finished article um, and it's a fabulous book and if you haven't got it I suggest you go and look on her website because I think that there was not that many left last time I checked could be wrong but that's what I think Anyway, this is a follow-on from that. Oh wow, oh my god, it like unwrapped itself, that was amazing. So yeah, this is a hardcover book. It's a hefty tome, if I do say so myself. There's Susan on the back there. And she's on the front as well, but you can't see her face. I love that yoke. Right, reminds me a little bit of a love note, which just shows that both of them are pretty timeless. Yeah, that's gorgeous as well. So, the way that this worked was you signed up, um, you bought, you put a down payment on your book basically, and each month for a set amount of months, 13 possibly, maybe 8, I don't know. Um, you'd get a new pattern released to you by PDF. Then once all of the patterns have been released, we got the ebook. So I've had the ebook for a month or so, maybe more. And then I got an email from Susan a couple of weeks ago saying that the truck had arrived with all of the books in their resplendent glory and that we would be receiving them very soon. So that's what happened. and. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed with it. It's really good quality. All of her books are really good quality though. Um, they're all along a similar vein. So I definitely suggest that you go and check her out. Her patterns are available on her website. She also has her own yarn because they, run, they live on a farm. And yeah, you'd be supporting an indie designer, an independent business. And she's a fabulous lady as well. I'm not going to go through what, I, what I've what i just been and bought um, at Hobbycraft because I spent a fair amount of money there. So I think I'll do like a haul type thing tomorrow. But the one thing that is left to do today is to review the tea that came in my advent. So this is um, Pumping Pomegranate and it's a lovely deep red colour and it smells like you can smell pomegranate as soon as you like go in the same room as it it's amazing so let me just try a bit yeah that's really nice it would be really nice um in a cocktail cold brewed and then used in a cocktail it would be really nice um with a splash of orange juice in it iced um, like it's not a wintry, it's literally just purely pomegranate. There's no um, spices or anything like that. It's just a fresh, clean pomegranate. Lovely. Definitely recommend it. If they've got it on their website, I will link it in the show notes. Okay, um, so that's it from me today. Oh, no, do you know what? One more thing. Ta-da! Um, the ball for yesterday from the Arne and Carlos knitted advent there's a little sheet and oh, I love it and I wish I could make like 24 sheet for baubles but just number four will be the sheep number three will be the sheep 
number four is something else entirely, which I haven't watched the video for yet. Anyway, love it. Again, it's as big as my face. I'm not showing you my face because I just got out of the shower. I've got shower hair. <sighs> but, yeah, all that leaves is for me to say have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!